Hey guys, it's me Desiree Marie and I'm back here today to do another lock update video. I just want to start off by saying I'm so sorry. I know I missed one week, um, month five, week two, um, because I was sick. I was not feeling well. If you guys saw the last video, my last update, I was coughing and Alright, so I'm <laughs> don't mind me guys. I I have this annoying cough. It just came out of nowhere. Needless to say, that cough turned into a full blown out cold, which turned into a, a flu. So I, I was down for a whole week. So I just didn't feel like um, recording that week. But I'm back. I'm back. I'm feeling so much better. Thank you guys for caring. <laughs> and um, yeah, I feel so much better now. So I'm here to update you guys on my two weeks my month five, week two, and week three to bring us all current and up to date. So yes, welcome to all of you new subscribers and welcome back to all of you faithful subscribers. If you don't know, if this is your first time watching this video, watching my videos in general, I am Desiree Marie and I love to update you guys on my locks. I update you guys weekly. A lot of YouTubers only do monthly. I make sure to come to you guys weekly because if you don't know, locks are always changing. Locks are constantly doing something new. Every week there's something new to be spoken about. And I do this also to track my own growth so that I can look back at old videos and really appreciate the growth. And um, yeah, because sometimes, you know, if I, if I do it, if I spread it out month to month, I may forget certain points. And I want to always document everything. I want to always show you guys my hair week to week so that you know what to get, what to see in your hair if you are at the, you know, at my level of growth or if you're looking to see what locks do and how they grow. This is, these are great in-depth, detailed videos. I always get really up close and personal. Make sure you guys see my locks, see the struggles that I'm going through and also educate educate you guys along the way. So yes, welcome back, welcome back. This is month five, week two and three. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so month five, week two, which was last week, like I said, I was really feeling horrible, so I really didn't do much with my hair. I left it alone for the most part. Um, yeah, because when you're feeling really down and in blah, you're not really doing anything. Um, you don't really want to do anything with your hair. So just to look presentable, um, you know, being that I had to see people, just to look presentable, I put my hair back in one ponytail just to keep it out of my face. But I am very grateful to have locks because even though I was feeling disgusting and blah, I still looked great. Like my retwists still stayed together and I still looked presentable. Like I, I still looked, I, I would look in the mirror and I would feel horrible but my hair would look great and so I, I didn't look like how I felt. Whereas with my loose natural hair, oh my goodness, if I get sick, my hair look crazy. It's all over the place. The retwist, locks kind of keep your hair together, tight, and you look presentable. So I'm really grateful to have locks for that reason. When you're sick, your hair doesn't look as bad as you feel. <laughs> so yeah, I'm grateful for that. My um, retwist did last, of course, because it was only month, uh, week two of my retwist. So yes, the roots held on strong, um, and my hair, I, I feel like my hair progressed a bit because while I was sick, and if, if you guys have ever got the, you know, got a cold or the flu, you know that you have to hydrate your body a lot, and your body needs a lot of sleep. So that's what I did a lot during that week. I got a lot of rest, and I drank a lot of teas and liquids to the point where I was just tired of drinking tea. <laughs> but it was very beneficial 
to me, to my hair and to my skin. I felt like, wow, my hair was really um, feeling a little bit, you know, feeling better than it did before. And my skin felt great because I was getting a lot of sleep and hydrating my body too. So, yes, that just goes to show that um, drinking water does help your hair. That's something that I, I mean, I, I'm preaching to myself because personally, I don't like water. I really don't like water if if it's winter time I'm not interested in drinking water um, in the summertime yeah because you know I'm, I'm excited to drink water because my body needs it and you know you always need to replenish you're hot all the time but in the winter it's so hard to drink water it's so hard to get it it's like I have to mentally prepare my taste buds to drink water so what I do a lot of the times is I drink teas or I put lemon inside of the water and make it warm I love hot teas so that's how I get my water intake for the most part um, but progressing here on I'm going to try to drink more water because your hair loves water not only does it love when you spray water and wash your hair and apply water on your hair externally but your ha your hair loves when you drink water as well um, yeah so for, for progressing here on I'm going to try to incorporate that into my regimen I'm going to try <laughs> Um, yeah, my hair is still budding. Um, it's it's still progressing. It's still maturing. Um, there's really not much to talk about. Like I said in my last video, as your hair matures and you get over the the four to five month hurdle, your hair begins to seem like it's not really doing much, but it is. Um, my hair is looking bumpy along the shaft, which is great. It, that shows that the hair is filling in. So even at this point, your hair could still be budding, still be having, you know, having different shades and stuff like that. And that's what describes my hair right now. I have a lot of buds, a lot of like awkward th things happening, but it still looks presentable, and I still feel like it's a lot more manageable than in my first month where my hair was really going through it as far as the frizzies and the untamed hairs. Um, I did see one ball at the end of one of my hair um, locks which is crazy because I thought maybe I was over that but it, it, it did form again so now I have to do as I have told you guys before take that end and wrap it around um, that's just to show that your hair is forming its ends and it's forming that bud that that blunted and uh, lock hair look <laughs> so yeah I'm excited about that um, but yeah other than that my hair I feel like the pat the two strand pattern is is out like it, it is there's no more two strand pattern my hair looks locked I'm so excited that it's finally looking locked um, yeah 100% uh, locked I mean it's still it's still progressing of course I'm still in my baby stages but the two strand twist pattern is through and I'm excited about that and you know it's only been five months that's why I'm really glad that I started my hair with two strand twists rather than braid locks I mean I'm not knocking you guys you girls and guys that have started your hair with braids but when you have braids your hair takes a long time to look like locks like I'm, I look at a few other youtubers that started their hair with braid locks and their hair does not look like it's maturing very much like at five months their hair still looks like it has not like it, it the, a bud has not has not formed and it still looks like a braid but just a skinny braid and even after a whole year the braid pattern is still there especially if you start off with long hair but I'm grateful for my two strand twists because um, two strand twists look more like the shape that you're going for as far as locks and it, it takes a lot less for your hair, less time for your hair to look like it's locked. Um, all you have to do is deal with the frizzies, keep palm rolling, and after a few months your hair looks locked already. Um, 
Whereas with braid locks, it takes a whole lot longer for your hair to look locked. <laughs> so I'm really glad that I did that. If you guys didn't know, I did start my hair off with braids initially, but then I took it out after a month and reset my hair to two strand twists because I really wanted the full look of the two strand twists, the nice puffy locks um, that I always talk about that I, I want. Those are my goals. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, I'm really excited. My hair is still looking great. Um, I have been using this, which is a shea butter oil. And this is great. I use it for my hair every, well, I try to use it every week. Spray my hair, of course, and apply this along the shaft of my locks. And it's great. It's lightweight. It's not a heavyweight oil. Um, it, it doesn't stick to your hair. It doesn't weigh it down. It doesn't um, leave buildup in your hair. And the smell is great. I, I love, I love the smell. Like, after I use it, I also put some on my hands because I just, I would love to smell that throughout the day. So yeah, I've been using this Shea Butter Oil. It has been moisturizing my hair, keeping it smelling really nice and moisturized throughout the week. Um, you can also use this on your body, like I said. Yeah, I'm excited about that. <laughs> but I also have a few more oils that I'm going to talk to you guys and girls about me and my mother um, went to a local market um, Indian market spot I have been talking to you guys about that as well that is actually where I got my coconut oil from so I'm gonna be posting that vlog which I'm gonna show you guys um, you know along the way of you know purchasing these these products these Indian products I'm going to bring you guys along with me to the area in which we purchased it um, in the store as we're purchasing it looking at it browsing and I'll also talk about the benefits I have researched the benefits of these oils and they are amazing like I my mind is blown with all of the benefits yeah I'm gonna come to you guys and talk to you guys about the benefits of these oils. I'm not going to give away the names, but I'm going to let you guys see. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about that. So yes, um, that is my hair update. Um, yeah, like I said, not much has changed. It's progressing still. Um, I am still encouraged on my journey. And if you guys are at my journey point, five months, and your hair feels like it's not doing anything dramatic and, and it's not progressing the way that you want, Please do stick in there, be encouraged, even when you feel like your hair is not doing a thing. <laughs> Try to keep your hands out of your hair like I keep talking about. Try to keep from watching your hair so closely because your hair is, it, it, it requires your patience. It's always growing, it's always doing something. Um, and at this point, I feel like my hair is doing more behind the scenes work than it is doing anything up on, you know, surface wise. And that's a great thing because your hair is setting the foundation and it's becoming the lock that you want it to be. So yes, guys, that is it. That is my hair update video. I want to know how you guys are doing. How is your hair journey going? Are you still standing strong in your journey? Are you discouraged? Let us know down below so that we can encourage you, so that we can offer you advice, whatever you, um, the questions that you have about your hair, any concerns, leave them down below. We will contact you guys. We will answer. And I will also address your questions in our lock chat videos. So yes, do talk, you know, communicate and, and say whatever you need. Share your, your journey and questions down below because we are an interactive community and we are always encouraging one another. So yes, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I have so many more treats coming up. So do subscribe to this channel. I have many more things coming up very soon. I actually have an idea about a Valentine's hair video, a hairstyle for Valentine's Day. So yeah, come with me. It's going to be amazing amazing. I've already started preparing. The wheels are turning. <laughs> but yes, 
subscribe to this channel like this video if you liked it and comment down below yes comment down below and I'll see you in the next video bye